Welcome to the Practice Profit System Podcast. Do you own a cash-based practice? Are you looking to start one? Tired of working endless hours and still not making enough money? Want to fire your insurance company? Then you're going to love our podcast. Each episode is full of insights and proven strategies to grow your practice to seven figures and more, allowing you to take more time off, make more money, and no longer have to take insurance reimbursements. Plus, get a free copy of my book, The Anatomy of a Seven-Figure Medical Practice, where I detail my entire journey to creating my own seven-figure practice. Just go to www.srpmedicalmarketing.com forward slash book. You just pay $7.95 in shipping and handling, and you'll also get over $1,197 in free bonuses. That's www.srpmedicalmarketing.com forward slash book. Now on to our show. Hey everybody, welcome to the Practice Profit System. I am your host, Matthew Glogley, and I'm coming to you today from the beach down at Hilton Head Island, thus the uh, different background and a little bit different uh, uh, setup here. So what are we going to talk about today? So today, what we're going to talk about is mentoring. Yeah, we're going to talk about mentoring and coaching. Now, the reason why we're going to talk about mentoring and coaching is because I believe and I know that it's probably one of the most important things that you can have if you are not having any of the success that you want in life. And so what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about the traits of my most successful clients and the power of mentorship. So let's go ahead and get started. So if you have listened to my stuff for any amount of time or if you've read my book, you hear the story of the two doctors. And it's the first chapter in my book, The Anatomy of a Seven-Figure Medical Practice. And what it is, is it tells the story of two different doctors who went to the same medical school. They came out with the same kind of grades, the same kind of prospects and future. And one wound up going from job to job to job, uh, working as a, you know, locum tenens or working in different hospital groups, not very satisfied and happy with their uh, lot in life of what really medicine turned out to be for them. And the other one is one that followed a path into the cash-based practice arena and had this wildly successful practice and had a great life and all those wonderful things that comes with it. Now, that story is really representative of my client base. There are literally thousands of people on my list that get these email lists, that get these, these podcast links every single week. And you know what's interesting? is only 45 to 50 people have gone through my private client group, which is why I work with you one-on-one. And I'll talk more about that in just a minute, but I want to kind of set this framework for you, is that I want you to really think about how you do things in medicine. If you want to become very proficient at something, what you do is you go find somebody who's really, really good at it. Let's say you want to learn how to do Tommy John surgery. You would apply to be in a fellowship with Dr. Andrews down in Birmingham, Alabama, uh, like Dr. Mark Pietropelli did. And Or if you wanted to learn the path of becoming an outstanding plastic surgeon, uh, cosmetic surgeon, I should say, um, you would find the best to train under and you would learn all their skills and their secrets and their traits. But that's only part of the equation. The bigger part of the equation is that in the cash-based side of things where we're not taking any insurance payments whatsoever, it's critical that we learn the business side of it, right? You can have all the greatest skill in the world, but if you don't have the business side of it, then you're going to constantly struggle. But you've heard me talk about that, so I'm not going to belabor that point. What I am going to do is I want to share with you the specific traits of my most successful clients. And there's a little bit of a background on this. As you may know, I am an avid golfer. I am 54 years old at the time of this recording, and I've been playing golf since I was six years old. Golf for me has always been a sanctuary for me. In fact, I'm a former PGA golf professional. I ran private clubs. I never played on tour, but pretty decent player. And what's interesting is that even though I'm a really good player and I've been playing golf for in excess of 45 plus years, I have someone that I work with as a coach, believe it or not. Yeah, his name is Stuart, the Scotman, uh, Stuart as we like to call him. And here's what's really even more interesting about this is the game of golf has changed dramatically from when I first started playing. And I won't bore you with kind of the details of it, but basically the way I was taught to swing in my throughout my all the way through my 20s is now considered to be the wrong way to swing. And I had been going through a very specific set of changes in my game in order to improve the quality of my play. Now, why am I including improving the quality of my play? Very simple. 
I plan on getting my professional status back in the PGA of America, and I want to play in some section events. Okay, I want to get back to playing some competitive golf. And the amateur side of it, it's not really cutting it for me. If I'm going to do that, I'd like to cut a check. <laughs> so I want to get better again. Okay, it's just that simple. Now, mind you, I know the game really, really well. I used to teach the game. I used to give a ton of lessons. I had been trained by great teachers. I, you know, I've learned the game from some of the top teachers. I go to I went to school with people that are outstanding teachers. But here's also the reality is I need somebody to help me see what I'm doing from a different set of eyes and implement the changes. Thus, I'm working with Stuart. Now, again, I'm not going to explain to you all the different things in the swing because unless you're a golfer, you're going to be really, really bored. But again, the reality is, is the way that you hit the golf ball so that you can have longevity and hit the ball further and play the game for, for a much longer time has dramatically changed. Okay. Just to put it in perspective, when I was growing up, you didn't work out. We drank beer, ate pizza, but we didn't work out. Today, over half of my regimen for getting my game back is working out and flexibility. Okay. That's just a simple example. Okay. So what does this mean for you and your practice and your ability to scale and grow your practice? Well, most people, what they want to do is they're like the golfer that goes on YouTube and they try to find the videos and learn the quick fixes and the hacks and all of those things. And quite frankly, Stuart has a very simple rule for me. He goes, you are not allowed to go on YouTube and watch videos of somebody teaching the golf swing because it has to be very personal for me. I want to say that again. Stuart has a very simple rule. I'm not allowed to go online and watch videos of people uh, teaching the golf swing because he's working on a very specific solution for me. And that's the way it has to be for your business. If you are spending your time, these podcasts are meant to introduce you to my philosophy, to my theology, if you will, of how I grow practices. But it's not meant specifically for you to supplement, to supplant one-on-one -on -one working with me by just listening to this podcast. It's a very, very fine, it's not even a fine line, but it's a very specific distinction that you need to really wrap your head around. You're not going to be able to really scale your practice by being a generalist. Now, there are a few people who play on the PGA Tour who don't have a swing coach. They are few and far between. They are less than 1%. But most of the ones that you see out there, even on the mini tours, even in the lower levels, even in the collegiate levels, they have people that they work with one-on-one -on -one to help them grow and improve their game. Now, they may have a couple of people. They may have a strength and conditioning coach. They may have a flexibility coach. They may have a nutritionist. And then they have somebody that works on their full swing. But at the end of the day, there is this entire uh, hierarchy, if you will, that shows and helps them be able to play at their best. Your medical practice and your business growth is no different. I get asked a lot of questions like, well, you know, if I'm paying for somebody to do Legion over here, isn't that enough? No, you're paying for a service. That's not coaching. That's not mentorship. That's just paying for a specific service, okay? Think of it this way. If you're building a house, you're going to have an architect who designs the entire thing. And then on top of that, what's going to happen is you're going to have individual subcontractors that are going to fulfill the work. The people that do your lead generation, they are a specific contractor. I am your architect. I am the one that helps you design the plan and helps you identify the contractors and subcontractors who are going to get the work done. That's what I do. Okay, but there are a couple of traits that are key that unless you match these traits, I will not work with someone. Okay, so here they are. All right. These are the traits of my most successful clients. Now, remember, I haven't just coached people in the medical space. I've been coaching people since 2007. To date, I've coached over 4,000 people worldwide on five continents in 30 different industries. I have built massive coaching companies, and some of them are group coaching, some of them are one-on-one -on -one coaching. But when it comes to scaling a business, I know what to do. This is what I do for a living, okay? And frankly, I think I'm actually pretty good at it. Okay, so here's the first, here are the couple of things. These are the traits of my most successful clients, and these just aren't my doctors. These are the ones that are in any industry in any niche. First and foremost, they are coachable. In other words, they check their ego at the door. If you are not coachable, if you want to debate with me. I mean, it's one thing to question, right? And to have a back and forth to understand something. But I've actually had clients tell me, oh, I'm not going to do that or that's not going to work. Mm -hmm. You know what? Then maybe they're probably not the right fit. So first and foremost, you have to have a coachable heart. You've got to check your ego at the door. And second, um, you need to be making sure you're not looking for someone who's going to be a yes coach, right? My best clients, they are not looking for advice they can agree with. 
they want to uh, they want somebody who's going to push their way of thinking. And that's exactly what I do to provide a different way of thought and a different way to approach something than, say, the traditional regurgitated method that is repeated over and over and over again in our industry. The third trait is they're willing to follow the process. To turn your practice around, to get your business going to where you want it to be, it is not a quick process. It is not as simple as getting 30 new leads. Look, everybody gets sucked into those pitches, and they're great pitches. They're awful. They're wonderful pitches, and there are some people that can actually deliver that. But you've got to follow the process. There is a process, which leads me to the next one. Life is a result of the choices we make and the habits we create. I'm going to read that again to you. Life is a result of the choices we make and the habits we create. And so my most successful clients, they realize, just like your patient who wants to lose weight, right? They realize that they have to change. It's not just about the food that they eat for two weeks. It's about changing the habits of the food that they eat. When I went through my weight loss journey uh, over a year ago, and you know, to date I've lost, uh, it's just right around 30 pounds and I've kept it off and my body fat hovers anywhere between 19 to 22%, depending on a couple of different factors. But I had to completely change my habits I had to completely change the way, and this happened over time. It didn't happen immediately, but I methodically changed my habits and I started making better choices, okay? There are two more. My successful clients understand the power of fundamentals. They realize that this is not something that's going to just change overnight, but every day, if you improve it one to 2%, then what happens is you have a compounding experience. Many of my clients, after six to nine months, are experiencing 150 to 200% growth quarter over quarter of their practices. And they see a bigger, brighter future ahead. No matter what happens, they see a bigger, brighter future ahead. So does this sound intriguing to you? Well, then I have a special offer for you. And I really make offers on these podcasts, but I'm going to make one now. You, If you would like to work with me one-on-one, I am actually have just opened up four slots in what are called private client group. It is a year-long commitment. It has no guarantees other than the fact that I'm going to push you. Okay, If you are looking for guarantees or you have done a number of coaching programs and you look for the coaching program to make the result for you, like to magically make the result for you versus you willing to do the work, um, then I'm probably not a good fit. I hope that makes sense because really, first and foremost, you have to be coachable. You got to be willing to follow this process. Uh, you have to make sure that you aren't looking, uh, that don't look for the advice that, you're, that you want to agree with. Um, and you're willing to make some new choices and some new habits and focus on the fundamentals and see a bigger future, if you answered yes to those, then you're the type of client that probably would be a lot of fun to work with. And I'm very selective as to who I work with. I'm not going to keep going until I sell and put four people in, I should say, into my private client group. My max that I will put in will be four. Okay, There is commitment. You have to show up to your calls. We do two calls a month. We do quarterly group planning sessions. All of this is detailed out on a page I'm going to give you. Okay, so what's the process? Go to srpmedicalmarketing.com forward slash mentor, M-E-N-T-O-R. That's mentor, srpmedicalmarketing.com forward slash mentor. On there is a quick little video and an explanation more of what I look for. And if you answer yes to that, then what I ask you to do is I ask you to reserve a slot and talk with me. Now, I am going to charge a very small nominal refundable fee for you to book time with me because I only want to talk with people that are really interested in changing where they are with their practice. I am looking for people that want to scale their practice and start, if you're doing seven figures already, I want to scale you to, you know, if you're doing a million, I want to scale you to three to $5 million. If you're doing $3 million, I want you to scale to $10 million a year. If you're doing $10,000 a month, I want you to scale to $55,000 a month. Okay. So it doesn't matter where you are. I have a couple of people that are in startups that are just starting and I work with them in private client group as well. Okay. So this is a relationship between you and I, okay? So I, like I said, I would tell you that 30% of my clients in private client group are startups. Yeah, love working with them because I've done so many of them. Uh, I've started three of my own and uh, I've helped numerous other people acquire, buy, start, launch, the whole deal. Okay, so that's it. Mentorship, probably one of the most important things in the world that you can have and do. The best of the best always have somebody that's coaching them on improving some area of their life. And mine continues to this day, even at 54 years old, with all the success that I've had in various aspects of my life. So check it out, srpmedicalmarketing.com forward slash mentor. And I look forward to having a chat with you. And uh, we'll go over pricing and all that good stuff, but check it out. Have a great day, everybody. And no matter what, 
I don't care if it's me. I don't care if it's somebody else. Get yourself a mentor. Make sure you have somebody who is operating as the architect of your business in your life. You'll be much happier for it. Have a great day, everybody. See ya. Thank you so much for listening. If you liked this episode, take a moment and share it with your fellow medical professionals or post a positive comment and rate it on wherever you just listen. Now, don't forget, you can get a copy of my book, The Anatomy of a Seven Figure Medical Practice for free. Just pay $7.95 in shipping and handling. Plus, you'll get over $1,197 in free bonus material. Simply go to srpmedicalmarketing.com forward slash book. That's srpmedicalmarketing.com forward slash book. Thank you so much. And we'll see you next week.